express the beauty of God through a book that I was given by our dear Father Simmons. He told me to read this book, and after reading it, I am so inspired that God is constantly, constantly revealing himself to us, not only 2,000 years ago in the form of Jesus Christ, but every single day in our lives, in what we do, in what we say. So let's begin with this. On 2019, December 8, myself and a few of my friends consecrated our life to Mother Mary. Who is Mother Mary? Mother Mary is the mother of God, and Mother Mary is the mother of us all, especially when Jesus gave her to us on the cross. You see, brothers, in the beginning, there was nothing but God. And because of God's love for each and every one of us, God came down to this world and made us. He made the earth. He made the nature, as Brother Kishore was saying. He made everything that Brother Sahil was saying. He made it all because God loves us. And God made men and women, as you know, and they sinned, right? They disobeyed God. And from then on, sin entered into the world. And for so many years, throughout the Old Testament, we see that God is trying to, to, to bring us back to Him, to lead us back to God by the prophets, the patriarchs, and all these people. But it didn't work. So finally, through the sin of Eve and Adam, Our Lady was called the Virgin Mary, a peasant girl, a humble woman, was called by God, and her response was, Be it done unto me according to your will, O Lord. And when she said that, when she said yes to God, Jesus was brought into this world. And because Jesus was brought into this world, God came in the form of man, and he preached the word of God, he preached conversion. The reason why I share this, all this backstory, my dear brothers, is because this apparition, this book that I was told to read by Father Summit, isn't new. It isn't some sort of new theology that we do not, we've never experienced before. Mother Mary appeared to the people at Medjugorje, which is in Croatia, and he appeared to them saying all the things that God has already revealed to us through Jesus, the prophets, the patriarchs, and throughout all history. So let me introduce you this. Let me introduce to you this book. This book is called The Apparitions of Our Lady of Medjugorje. Medjugorje is a small place in a country called Croatia, in Earth, right? And this country is a beautiful place. It hasn't been really known for its Catholic faith, but because it had a strong Catholic faith, Our Lady appeared to them. Our Lady, I will refer to Mother Mary as Our Lady, is that okay with you? So Our Lady appeared to six young children. These six young children were of the name of Vika, Jakov, Mir Mirjana, Ivanka, Mirija, and Ivan. One day, on, two, uh, on June 24, 1981, they were walking. They were walking in the field, they were playing, they were doing their business, they were doing what they would normally do. And what happened was, they saw a bright light. Now, I must tell you that before I read this book, I was never really into apparitions and I really didn't understand how these work. But when I was reading this book, I started to slowly understand that God really does reveal Himself through these apparitions. You probably have heard of the other apparitions. Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Lourdes, God revealed to the children. And also in this apparition, God revealed himself to the children of Medjugorje. Like I said, it was June 24, 1981. They were playing in the field and they saw on the hill a great light. 
Grace lights brighter than this light bulb. And when they saw this light, they were afraid because they didn't know what it was. Was the sun dancing? Why is there such a bright light? It is about to go, the, the sun is about to go down. Why is there such a great light? So they looked up and they followed the light. And what came out of the light was a beautiful girl. A beautiful girl and it was Mary, our lady. And she introduced herself to the children saying, I am Mary, the mother of God. I am here to bring peace into this world. So, this apparition of Our Lady was not just, um, it wasn't just a momentary thing. It happened every single day until August 7 or August 12. It happened each day. And what's so real about this? Because it was in 1981, they had cameras, they had recorders, they were able to record the visions, they were able to see what the children were saying, they were able to understand what Mary wanted. Like I said in the beginning, God created the world, and God created the world very good, right? But because of sin, we strayed away from God, and because of sin, we have also strayed away from what God has called us to, to do. God has called us to bring peace. God has called us to have faith. God had called us to be good and to share our resources with the world. When Mother Mary came into this world, she was obedient to God's will. She said, let it be done unto me according to your word. And she said yes to God. But the world, my dear friends, as you can see, is in ruins. There's a lot of brokenness in this world. There's a lot of wars. But God tries to always bring peace. And on the day, June 24, 1981, when the first apparition appeared, they were in interviewing the students, the kids, while they were talking to Mother Mary. And they asked Mother Mary, Mother Mary, what do you want these people to know? And Mother Mary replied, I want them to have peace. I want them to have conversion. I want them to have faith, prayer, penance, and fasting. And wherever God is calling you in your prayer, I want you to go. And a result of this, dear friends, Medjugorje is a known place in the world for this apparition. Even though this apparition isn't approved 100% by the Vatican, it is still constantly, constantly being evaluated. This apparition shows us that God reveals Himself each and every day in our lives. Maybe through an apparition, maybe through your brothers. Maybe through the talks of Father Summit and his inspirational talks. But God is revealing himself to us each day. The results of Medjugorje also um, led Medjugorje to be a very popular uh, pilgrimage spot with about 70,000 people gathering there for Mass. The church only has seats for 600 people, but 70,000 people. My dear friends, God calls us to be faithful to Him and calls us to have peace, conversion, faith, prayer, penance, and fasting. The reason why I take this topic today is because I think today we also should have faith in God. That every moment of our lives is an opportunity to see Christ in our dear brothers and to share Christ just like yesterday's gospel, not in the house, but on the hilltops, so that whatever people see, our good deeds, they may glorify our Father in heaven.